using Flagstaff as this tipping point to get back to the moon. The rocky, otherworldly landscape of Flagstaff's volcanic field brought NASA's Apollo team to Arizona in the 70s. Mark, die up, please, now, NASA is back again. This time, the Artemis team is using the moon-like surface to train. We bring astronauts from their very basic training in geology all the way to crew members that are going to go to the moon back here to Flagstaff, just like Apollo did. They set the precedence, and so now we're standing on the shoulders of giants. Astronauts use training suits in the volcanic field here to simulate full moon walks. I talked to Mission Control the whole time, and within Mission Control, the science team is there. So exercising all those components together is not something we can do very easily anywhere else. So here is where we can kind of get that done. This trip to Arizona not only showcases the astronauts training, but also all the technology used to create a real lunar experience is giving an over the shoulder view of everything I'm doing. Uh, so if I'm in the field practicing geology, something like that, uh, the team back in, in Houston and the mission control team uh, can actually see what I'm doing as I do it. Astronauts Kate Rubens and Andre Douglas sported the suits this week. They'll become the first woman and person of color to walk on the moon. To be here in Flagstaff, where all of that training took place initially, to be doing it and realizing that 50 years in the future, you know, our children and our grandchildren are going to be looking at these black and white photos, and that's going to be the team that got Artemis to the moon. They say as they make history, they also want the next generation to shoot for the stars. Lift off. And beyond. Do what you love. That's the core of it. And do well in it. And then share your goals with people and they'll help you get there. Now there is no set date for when they will be blasting off to the moon, but astronauts will definitely be back here in Flagstaff to train in the near future. Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family. Mason, thanks. Ahead.